everybody this is Julissa thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel thank you so much to everybody who's listening in the podcast uh, today is Sunday September 15 2024 I wanted to come here real quick and make this episode regarding the the death of a very uh, famous professional ballerina in case you haven't heard yet um, her name was uh, Michaela the Prince and she died I believe it was September 7. I'm gonna give you all the details. Um, but let me just tell you that, you know, the reason that I'm making this video is to tell you once again, everybody, that life is so unpredictable and the best thing that we can do, and I'm gonna repeat myself like I do all the time, is to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That is the main thing in life. At the end of our life, nothing else will matter, right? Just as we come to this world naked, we live with nothing, basically. And the only thing that we can take with us is our salvation through Jesus Christ, okay? But before I continue, I want to say thank you to everybody who's listening. Thank you to all the followers on Spotify, as well as the Apple Podcast. And of course, thank you so much to the YouTube ad audience. And please don't forget to subscribe, okay? So... Like I just mentioned, guys, on Friday the 13th, this past Friday, the family of Michaela the Prince gave a statement um, informing everybody about her passing. And this is a very uh, sad situation because just 24 hours before she died, her adoptive mother has her also passed away. So the family was hit basically with double tragedy. So... Let me read to you guys briefly this article. Professional ballet dancer Michaela Babinti, the prince, who once performed alongside Beyonce, has died. She was just 29 years old. This is quote-unquote a statement that the family put out on her Instagram account. It said, with pain in in our hearts, we share the loss of star ballerina Michaela Babinti, the prince, who artistry touched countless hearts and who inspired many. I, you know, reading about her, I, I could see how she inspired so many people. Like, and if, she, you know, if you knew who she was and you follow her, her story about her being adopted uh, and following her dreams about becoming a ballerina and how she actually wanted to become one, um, please leave a comment, share your story with us. But yeah, it seems as though like, there's so many people who were inspired by her, by her journey throughout, you know, her career. It says here, leaving an incredible mark on the world of ballet, ballet and beyond. A Friday the 13th statement uh, was posted on the Prince Instagram account. Her life was one defined by grace, purpose, and strength. Her unbearing commitment to her art, her humanitarian efforts, she was also humanitarian, her courage in overcoming an unimaginable challenge will forever inspire us. The message continues. She stood as a beacon of hope for many, showing that no matter the obstacle, beauty and greatness can rise from the darkness places. And, you know, this is interesting about her her death because usually um, when something like this happens, specifically with people who are famous, they say, oh, you know, they had a heart attack or they had... Um, something or they were dealing with some type of illness, right? They're not releasing what her cause of death is yet. Um, we don't know if the family is actually going to reveal that. There's a lot of people speaking about it, saying, you know, she was forced to have the the booster and all of you guys know what I'm talking about, the stuff in your arm um, that came up a couple of years ago and saying that she was, I don't know if there was a some type of controversy about that in the past Um, but they're saying that she was actually forced to get that I I found a photo of her saying in 2021 July I believe 2021 how she had she was in New York City for some type of event and she actually got her booster there so yeah people immediately are going to point out because of her young age and her you know her healthy appearance I guess you can say right you know, you can't assume what could what could have happened to her, right? Somebody who was basically a performer who kept on shape in shape, who you know very young too. So people immediately will, will be drawn to say it's probably the you know the one and the two and the booster, right? That came out a couple of years ago, and I can understand that there's a lot of people who had died because of it. 
but you know i don't want to talk about that's probably what happened to her because we really don't know and the family is not really disclosing that right i think um a lot of people after getting that they you know they began to to have these health challenges and people are not really speaking about it because i don't know why but to be honest there's a lot of people who were perfectly fine before so before there's a before and after after getting the one and the second and the booster whatever right but people are you know it's almost like nobody wants to speak about it you know but there's a lot of people who went through a lot of health challenges that they never had young people especially right young healthy people so it says here um the prince was born in sierra leone and raised in, in an orphanage okay after both of her biological parents died during the country's civil war, the, the dancer was adopted at the age of four by an American couple in New Jersey where her mother noticed the prince's interest in dance and enrolled her in ballet lessons. That's amazing. What an amazing story, right? Here she is. Um, both her parents died fighting in the war. Or because of the word um, and then she she's into an orphanage and the chick is adopted and brought here to the US and you know the family that that adopted her saw an interest in her you know wanted to be a ballerina and then they started putting her in classes like that the prince talent soon soon reached Beyonce and she appeared in the visual album of Lemonade uh, this is here the Excuse me. I do believe that um, what I was saying earlier is that her mom, they were saying her adoptive mom also had passed away the same week. So it's just, I think that's, I think that's so sad for the family, you know. They're basically hit with double, um, with double, um, death in the family i do apologize about um i do apologize that i'm searching for it right now i just lost my my link here my notes it says here that elaine the prince right was her mother right and she died on september 11th so this past wednesday and then the day after, just 24 hours after, the M Michaela dies. Um, so that is crazy, you guys. I'm sorry, I just wrote something that didn't make sense. That's why I kind of froze for a moment. If they're saying like the mom didn't know that her daughter died, obviously, because she died before her. I don't know, like people are not double checking what they're writing on the internet, seriously. Elaine the Prince died on September 11, 2024, one day after the, um, one day after, oh, oh, okay, hold on, maybe that's what it is, um, like I said, I do apologize that I'm searching it right now, I just want to get you the right information before I continue. Ballerina Michaela the Prince, 29, and her mother died within 24 hours of each other. Okay, so I'm going to give you the sad days. The prince died during a routine procedure in preparation for surgery on September 11. Okay, so that's what it was. So Michaela died before her mother. Oh wow, that is so sad. So that's what they were saying. The mom didn't, um, didn't, you know, her adoptive mom, mother was unaware that she died. That's what they meant. Okay. It says here that she was born in Ke Kenima, Sierra Leone in 1995. The prince was just three years old when she lost her both parents, like I told you guys, and a civil war and was sent to an orphanage. She has been previously spoken of how her um, vitiligo, I guess I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, her vitiligo, the skin pigmentation condition that she saw, she that she has saw her branded the devil's child and received less food and clothes 
than other children. This is so sad. Like, seriously? That is, that, just reading that, I know, you know, it happened on time ago, but that hurt me just by people, just these presumptions and, you know, prejudice that people have. Because of her skin condition, she was given less food and clothes at the orphanage. She said, quote unquote, I was treated very well. She said, but recall how a photograph of an American ballerina in a magazine that blew against the gate of the orphanage captured her imagination. And she said, I remember she looked really happy, describing how she wished to become that sad person. Oh, so wow, that inspired her. She saw that photograph and she's like, I want to be happy like that ballerina in the photo. Wow, that's amazing. So, you know, um, it's so sad, um, her whole story. I don't, you know, from looking at her Instagram account, you guys can go ahead and, you know, f do that. You can see, because you learn a lot when you see people that are very active on social media. You learn a lot, even though, you know, the biggest shocker lately for me was um, Chelsea Chris, the Miss Universe, who died in 20, early 2022, I believe. Because you look at her Instagram, you know, I mean, she's living the life, right? And that's why you you really cannot go with what people post. But um, in some instances, you can kind of like see a little bit what's going through their mind with what the post that they do, right? You know, I couldn't pick up of anything it looks like it was somebody who was basically doing what she always wanted to do but that's the thing though even though we get opportunities to do what exactly else does we wanted to do right um we're basically doing our thing i guess you can say and i can totally relate to that because you know i i do others i do a lot of stuff right you guys know that i do fashion and i do the podcast the youtube all of that stuff uh, content creating creating but even so, like, there are days that I mean, I, you know, I'm so thankful to have that relationship with Jesus Christ. Because there are days that even doing what I like to do is not even enough. You know, I don't know how to describe it. Um, There are days that I don't want to sew. I don't want to go to fashion shows. There are days I don't want to create content. Um, And that's the thing, like, we can't just base our life or find our identity on the stuff that we do. I'm not saying this happened here. But I'm saying this is why it's so important to have that relationship with Jesus Christ. There are days that I just want to listen to worship music and read the Bible. And that's that's the thing that I'm so thankful for my family every day that they instruct me in the path of the Lord from a very young age. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to share this story with you guys about the ballerina. If you guys were inspired by her and somehow, please leave a comment. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening in the podcast. Have a good day, everyone. God bless. Hi, everybody. This is Julissa. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And if you want to know more about me, you can visit my website, julissadesigns.com. Have a good day, everybody. God bless.